folks, Amy here with Amy's Wares, and I have a little haul to share with you today from Simon Says Stamp. So I'm just going to pull this stuff out off screen. I don't have a whole lot to share with you today, but I am very excited about what I got. Um, first and foremost, the main reason for my order is the new and likely final color, Scorched Timber. So this, um, I've heard, is the last... Uh, color in the palette to round it up at least for the time being so um, I'm excited because it fits perfectly in my storage system and I reprinted my swatch sheets so that I can add all the most recent colors over the last few years um, and have that all set. So this is a really pretty brown that's a little bit different than the other browns in the collection um, and the way that I order show you here I'm very excited that this was also released um, but the way that I order is I get the um, Distress Oxide Pad, which obviously is only in this one size. I get the reinker, and then I collect the mini um, Distress Inks. That's what I collect. So I have all the colors of Distress Inks, all the colors of Oxides, but the Distress Inks I only have in the minis. And then for the last, I don't know, 10 color releases or something. I've also been buying the reinker. So this is the uh, Distress Ink reinker. So I have all the reinkers for all the Distress, distress Oxides because I use because I use those more. Um, but I don't use the Distress Inks as much and I haven't collected. Oh, I'm losing my breath. Trying to, this is no joke. I'll cut this open here. Goodness. Okay, so this is what the reinkers look like for the distressing. So these also make really good liquid watercolors too, if you want to kind of double duty those those items. Okay, so yeah, the main reason for the order was the new distress oxide color or distress color scorched timber. So I'm going to set this aside. Um, another thing I got here, I got uh, lawn fawn in black licorice and black cardstock from. Simon Says Stamp. So the reason I'm getting these and I have a couple other brands coming, I'm going to do another follow-up comparison video. So quite a, way, quite a while ago, I did um, a video comparing different black card stocks with white heat embossing because if you've done white heat embossing on black before, then you know the results vary greatly depending on the paper, depending on the, you know, ink and the powder and all the things. So I'm going to um, do a follow-up video on that. So watch for that. If you haven't already, if you aren't subscribed and you enjoy this content, then please hit subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell, then you'll be notified when I place new content. So again, I'm waiting on some other brands of black cardstock um, to do this comparison video, but hang tight for that and I will release that in a future video. Now, the final item is the Hawaiian Shores. So I have the... Uh, three other sets here already. I have Tahitian Terrace, Zanzibar, and Islands of Fiji. Um, however, I didn't have this Hawaiian Shores, and this I think I only was able to find it at Simon. So I got this on my order. These are very inexpensive. They are like water-based markers. So they don't perform exactly like water brush pens, like Ziggs or Artezas or things like that or Korean markers, they're kind of more, I don't know, I like to think of them as like a more grown up kind of Crayola. They're not expensive. They do blend with some water. So if you use them on, you know, like a watercolor paper or a paper with some coating like Strathmore Bristol Smooth, you can use some water and kind of blend the colors together. So, but they are very, I don't know, they're just fun. They're fun to play with. They're dual tip, um, beautiful colors because these are obviously all to new related. So what's cool about them is they have the um, the name on it and you have this fine tip pen. So if you do, I don't know, any journaling or anything like that. And then on the other side is like a brush tip. So I've really enjoyed these, really enjoyed having these. Um, as an alternative to my alcohol markers, I do have Copics. Um, I do also have the water brush pens and these are different. They are kind of somewhere in the middle. So I, I find them really fun to play with. Um, and yeah, so if you're interested in these, they are a really good price point and they're a fun marker. So these are the four sets that are available. I don't believe there's any more other than these four. If there are, 
please let me know in the comments because y'all know I'll be getting them. But I need to swatch these out. I already did um, swatches for for the other one here. So I'm going to... Actually, where are the other swatch sheets to figure out? Oh, no, I've got them all in here. So these are the three sets. These are all the colors. Maybe I'll need to do a bigger sheet so I can include this fourth set. But anyway, you can kind of see how they... You can blend them out. They are kind of water reactive. So they're not... I shouldn't call them a Crayola because they're not. Um, but they, you know, are kind of a simple, uh, simple, easy marker. So very fun. Um, I will link everything in the video description box below if you expand and scroll down. Um, if you do follow my links, it's no additional cost to you, but it does help me out. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. Um, if haul videos aren't your jam, please check out my lineup. I literally have over 600 videos of all sorts of techniques and various different ways to make cards um, and paper goods. So thank you so much for spending time with me and I'll catch you next time.